Right, take another group of chaps. This is down the road at uh, Neston, not far from where that fake coin was found. And in the church of St. Mary and St. Helen in Neston, which again is a Viking name, are all these marvellous cross fragments that have been smashed up, either during the Reformation or during Cromwell, we don't know. There's at least two or three crosses there in pieces. This one's interesting because it's got the image of part of a Viking woman. Here's a ponytail here, here's a, a dress, with her arm round what we presume is a husband here, but the rest of it's missing. Now, with a grant from English Heritage, I'm working in conjunction with Merseyside Conservation Centre. This is Roger White, who's an archaeologist from Birmingham, who originally did work on the stones 20 years ago. This is Martin Cooper, who runs the Conservation Centre in Liverpool. This is Neil Robb, and this is the church manager, Peter Rossiter. So we all got together, and the Conservation Centre scanned the fragments using a technique known as a laser triangulation. And what you do is you fire a strip of laser light at the object, and then you record the intensity, scattered intensity of light on a CCD detector focused by this lens system. So you can map accurately the surface of the object. Actually, this is what they're doing with the objects in Norway now, just in case it goes wrong, you know, with the conservation there. They're scanning all the objects so they could re recreate these objects if we do make a mess of it. So accurate scanning and then reproducing the cross, uh, filling in the missing bit because this lady also appears uh, in, uh, in Scandinavia, in, uh, in Gotland, uh, on the Tang Beda stone. Uh, the gentleman appears on the cross at Middleton in North Yorkshire. So we could piece them together again. And then working with local schools, because these would have been painted in the Viking Age, that they would have been, we're not sure what colours, but this is the lady's hair restored. Now, the youngsters <laughs> originally painted the man's hat as red. So someone pointed out it looked like, a bit like Noddy. So that was a uh, change. And also, this was a hat. So we had to restore the lady's uh, hair again. But it's fantastic. And it's on display in the church.